books? Yeah, I do. Let me give you an example of something I want to reread that I haven't reread yet. The other day I was musing over the current situation and it popped into my head that I had read a poem about 80 years ago by George Sand. And George Sand was a female writer, but female writers to get ahead in those days sometimes used men's names. George Sand wrote a poem, and it was an ode to the goddess of poverty. She said, hail to the goddess of poverty, a wonderful goddess of poverty. She tills the fields, she mines the mines, and so on. And if I remember right, toward the end, the goddess of poverty said, if you try and banish me, you'll live to want me back. I kind of agreed with this poem, and I'd like to see it again. I don't know how to punch notes on the internet and get George Sand's poem to me, so if somebody will send me her poem, I'll very much like it. But I'm telling you this because it's an antidote to our politicians who want to tell us they're going to abolish all poverty. It's a stupid idea. You know, it's like saying we'll all be Riches in a modern civilization are a relative thing. It's status where we want. It isn't that we need more beans. The trouble with reaching for status is that the bottom 90% are always going to contain exactly 99% of the people, no matter how hard we work or how much we su succeed. And we actually need some tough incentives in a civilization to make it work. In other words, George Sand was right. The goddess of poverty is not all bad. She's partly good. And of course, I like thoughts that I have that are different from everybody else. And I think that a billionaire who talks about the glories of the goddess of poverty is making a contribution. <laughs> but only a bunch of nerds like you will appreciate it.